what's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Rage Diaries and finally I have some more information for you guys who's interested to come to the meet so the group ride will be held on February the 10th it's a Friday and uh, it will be organized at 10 p.m. we're gonna meet up at Asian Dam <coughs> so uh, for those of you who do not know where to how to go there uh, I'll put it on a map right now it is over here and I'm going to be waiting at the this small generator or some small building here uh, right at the start of Asian Dam so for those of you who are interested to come it will be on the 10th of February at 10 p.m. it's a Friday so I look forward to see you guys here uh, at a meet so uh, before anything, uh, I'm going to set some ground rules for the bike meet. First off, no speeding. Uh, we are not going to be riding too fast. We are going to ride at a, a reasonable speed, not too slow, not too fast, so that everyone can keep in pace, uh, even those scooters or those sm uh, smaller bikes, so we do not leave anyone out, and especially uh, so that it's safer to ride. And the second thing is no stunts, no wheelies and all that because uh, we do not want to get into trouble. Uh, we want this to be a chill ride, no funny things. So hope everyone can enjoy the meet and ride safely. So what we're going to be doing is we'll be riding around Singapore to the, some famous destinations like the 99 bands and the devil's band and some other places which i have not planned yet so um don't worry i'll come up with a plan by the time we meet so it's going to be filled with um riding and talking we're gonna stop for some tea and maybe food supper or something if you guys want uh, we can talk about anything uh, regarding bikes and all that so i uh, hope to see you guys there and get to know my viewers better of course there, are, there will be some other motor vloggers in singapore uh, going uh, hopefully all of them are able to make it just a quick shout out to Milku Gonuk who gave me this sticker here uh, thank you for the sticker it's so cool to see uh, Singapore model bloggers starting to promote their channel with uh, stickers. It's a simple gift, but it's really interesting to you know see this community uh, reaching out to the viewers, so that you know there's some interaction. And for those of you who have received the stickers, you can you know stick on your on your bike like I did, and to show your support to the local model bloggers. It's a good initiative to start giving out stickers so you know to, to support your your favorite motor bloggers and I'm sorry to say Miyoku that I've been stealing this idea of course uh, American motor bloggers already started this trend of uh, having their own stickers but I find that it's a very good idea to reach out to the community so I have ordered some stickers that is uh, coming in the shape of my logo the helmet with the two red eyes and the wood death step I'll be giving one free sticker to every single rider who's coming for the meet so so I hope all of you will turn up and you know you will receive a free sticker from me uh, the size of the sticker is not very big it's just about this size so anyway thank you Milko Gono for the sticker I have placed it there so you can see your sticker every time you watch my vlogs so for those of you who can't make it to the meet and want a sticker don't worry you can order it from me it's not very expensive uh, probably a few cents or to one dollars per sticker of course uh, I would have to see the product first before I start selling them for no profit at all because uh, I have not received the goods yet and I need to see if it's worth your money to buy the stickers but I'll be giving away the first batch to everyone coming to the bike meet anyway just yesterday I went for engine oil change 
and uh, I went to find Zach Busa, Z A C K Busa, uh, to do my engine oil change for the second time. This time I chose a 10W40 Lupromax engine oil because I've heard good things about it and I want to try it out to see if it really is that good. And I have to say that uh, Zach Busa has been really helpful teaching me stuff that I did not know and I learned something new as yesterday actually when I met him uh, he told me that bikes like Super 4 and bigger bigger bikes are they usually have the a problem with the magnetic coil because uh, usually we when we stop at traffic we for a long period of time and idle the engine we do not switch off the engine so what happens is the engine oil does not come into contact as much with the magnetic coil which causes it to heat up and over a long period of time it's going to cause some problems to the magnetic coil which will affect your charging that's why some of you riders are having problems starting your bikes in the morning because of low battery and you're wondering why I just changed the battery but so within like two months the battery dies again so it's probably your magnetic coil which uh, usually people will change together with the rectifier and also I talked to him about owning a Hayabusa I wanted to know more about a Hayabusa because I've always seen Hayabusas and I found that it's a really intimidating bike and I never thought that I would even consider having a Hayabusa because of the size and the amount of, or amount of engine it has a 1300cc but uh, I was thinking that maybe the maintenance is going to be expensive because it's a big bike uh, it's going to drink a lot of gas, a petrol and use a lot of engine oil but it turns out that he told me the petrol consumption is actually comparable to the Super 4 if not better so I was really surprised and uh, he went on to tell me that engine oil they use just as much as the Super 4 uh, same 4 spark plugs just like Super 4 because it's an inline 4 and basically the maintenance, basic maintenance cost is the same as the Super 4 which I am really surprised uh, granted that it's such a big bike <coughs> and it only costs this much to maintain a bike of course spare parts are going to be more expensive obviously because it's a bigger bike so I asked him is that <laughs> there must be something that you miss about the Super 4 that is better than the Hayabusa and again to my surprise he tells me that it's the VTEC because the VTEC gives uh, the, the sudden surge of power which he he says that um, he doesn't get that kind of feeling from the Hayabusa Probably because it's a huge bike and it's heavy so it's not very obvious of the sudden power surge So it's not that it's not powerful enough but the VTEC really kicks in hard when you when you give it enough throttle So I never thought that I would say this but I might consider the Hayabusa when I get my class 2 license of course, uh, there are some drawbacks that uh, stops, stops me from that make me think twice of getting a Hayabusa which is the looks of it because I don't really like the alienish look if you know what I mean it's kind of like curvy in the, the headlight and tail light and the whole body kit is just curvy and bulky so it looks like some alien machine which is kind of unique to this bike Anyone who sees this bike knows that it's a Hayabusa with that Chinese or Japanese word at the side. <coughs> so it's a unique feature of the bike which I it doesn't really, you know, doesn't really appeal to me. So I that's a drawback for me personally. And probably also because of the cost of uh, repairing in case of any problems with it. As it's a huge bike and parts are gonna cost a lot when it breaks down. So I'm not earning anything from advertising uh, for him. Uh, he is a he has a registered company for his uh, part-time job, helping other bikers to change engine oil, change brake pads, uh, full and flush, 
change batteries in case you break down in the middle of the road without uh, with a dead battery. So he does all that. Check out his Facebook page for more information. Uh, so I'm not earning anything. I'm not getting any benefits from this. Just because it's just because I find that you know it is a oh is that a terex? No, it's not. I'm just kidding. Just because uh, he is a good guy, and I find that his pricing is very reasonable. So, uh, three bottles of Lupro Max cost me seventy-five dollars, including installation or you know helping me to change the engine oil. So, seventy-five dollars is very reasonable for an engine oil change. So, speaking about maintenance, uh, next Sunday there is a charity bike wash organized by NTU Riders Club again this is not a sponsored advertisement uh, I just find that it's a very it's a very meaningful thing to you know contribute to the society with your donations it's just ten dollars for a bike wash uh, details can be found at the Facebook event page it's a NTU Riders charity something like that so it's next sunday i'll be going to the charity hope that you guys can support this charity to get a bike clean before chinese new year and also to you know do something good so all proceeds will be going to the deaf community d-e-a-f not die that is out there so yeah i hope you guys can support this charity run and also hope to see you there you might even be able to spot me so with that uh, being the last thing to talk about today I guess it's the end of this episode of Rage Diary I hope to see you guys in the next one and also I hope to see you guys at the charity bike wash until then I hope you guys have a great week ahead and stay safe on the roads